Jimmy, you made another move, and in 1998, you are Ed Barrier's crew chief in the Bush Series. And one of my all-time most favorite victories by anybody anywhere is when you guys won at Hickory that year. The thing about that, hit, the thing about that victory, it wasn't the result of a big pileup. Uh, Ed won that race, and you guys were stout all day. It wasn't a gas mileage race it didn't take a rain shortened race with anybody where anybody stayed out on the race track at the right time ed won the race he led twice for a total of 187 of the race's 300 laps what did you guys have that day well we built that car brand new just because then it was only 30 cars that made the race we built that car brand new it was a laughlin car from scratch when we did that the lear deal with the 77 we had a little bit of funding so we could basically buy almost what we needed so we decided to build a brand new car we went to uh greenville pixens to test it then we took it to uh to hickory for the race we, uh, i think we made one change the whole time we were there we sat outside pole and if we hadn't went, been the first qualifier out on that dirty track i believe it would have sat on the pole but yeah we just had it right had it right and ed was a, a phenomenal short track racer so. After more than 20 years in the sport at that time and everything that you had been through as a car owner and a driver, what did it mean to you personally to win the race that day? Uh, you know, we, we, when, when the, one of the main Ford guys gave me a call and said, you know, I want you to go talk to these people about taking this team over, being the general manager and the crew chief of this team. Uh, I think his name was, remember Preston? Yes. Yeah, Preston Miller. Miller. Preston Miller. Miller, yeah, he's the one that you know suggested with to to, to to me to talk to these guys, and they had, Preston had already talked to him. But we did that deal out of Mooresville, and uh, when I took it over in the, I think it was uh, June or so when I took it over, and uh, they already had existing personnel there, and I can remember, you know, they regret they resented me tremendously. I could feel the knives going in my back every time I walked in the door. <laughs> So they just resented me because they kind of, you know, they were basically back. Then, it was a laughing. That team was lacking, laugh, laughing stock you know, of the of the Bush series. We, uh, so I think we made some gains. We we made a driver change, which that wasn't popular with uh, some people. But I felt like we needed to do something with somebody with some experience to to, to move the team forward. Uh, and at the end of the year, I told told the owner, I said, if you want me to do this again, you'll I want to move it to my shop in, in, in uh, Forest City because I'm not going to commute back to every day to do this. So that's what we did, and it, it was a good move. It, uh, and it, what I feel about that win is we took something from the bottom and basically took it to the top. And it, it was a, it, I, w I was pretty proud of that because that car was built right here in the shop, and we did uh, uh, we did all the uh, body work and all that on it. So. It was a pretty big deal.